frame. Yeah, probably. I mean, that's all it takes. Thank you, Zenrion. If you could link that video, I'm actually going to tweet it to him. If you can link the music video, uh, I'll retweet it. Okay. So we got Kage and Armada. Um, Peach, Ganon. This matchup, it, it's weird, man. Like, uh, most Peaches, I know they like this matchup. Uh, but Ganon has some stuff. Ganon definitely has some stuff. Obviously, like, down throw to pretty much whatever aerial Ganon hits. I'm not too familiar with it. I won't lie. I know this is going to be really hard for Kage. The odds of him winning, let's keep it a buck. They're pretty damn low. But we shall see. Because most people's odds against this Peach are not high. <laughs> They're pretty low. Oh, Ar Armada's out here, man. This guy just is a, is more than a, he's like eight steps ahead. I feel like I lose stocks before the game starts. I totally agree with that. It's like, he's one of the players where you could just look up and it's like, wait, what happened? Yeah. And yeah, that's two quick ones. Look, man, there's only so many times that I can say it about Armada. Like, I feel like everything that he does is calculated. Mm -hmm. When he hits you, this is what Brandon's saying. I think when you say, you know, he's like two or three or four steps ahead, basically oh, that yeah. what that means is He's not just thinking about what's the best combo for the most damage. He's thinking about, okay, what's the combo that's going to do the most damage, that's going to set me up in an edge guard situation where I'm going to be in a favorable position, blah, blah, blah. And so you're just playing normal melee with a Peach player, but you're just always off stage and dying. Yeah. I think the unique He set it all up. It's just how, he, like, you know, like how his, his game sense, man, his vision for it is just ridiculous. I think the way that his brain works uh, is just like program for melee. Probably. I think his brain is like he's it's not a flow chart but it's like a it's like a flow chart vision brain path of how do I kill oh, this guy? Yeah. How do I get a KO? And every single thing that he does is like how do I keep myself alive and get a KO? Yeah. Where yeah. for me like I'm if I'm in an edge guard situation I can get into like you know okay how do I get a KO but not at neutral. I don't really see how the two are connected. I think it's just a limitation of my, my brain. Oh, man. Look at that combo. It is ugly, man. It is ugly. <laughs> Ganon's supposed to be scary. He's getting whooped. Oh, wait a minute. Kage's saying, I have space in two. Kage's like one of, if not the best Ganon to do it. And I love Kage because he does not get scared of anyone, you know? No, I don't think he's that he's going to play worse versus Armada than he would versus, you know, anyone else just because he's scared or whatever. No, I agree. He's kind of immune to this name brand, the name brand effect, you know? Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, I'm about to beat Armada. Yeah, man, when you're a warrior, you don't care about none of that. He's immune, dude. He's trying to beat everybody. Well, Armada's like, well, I'm I'm Zeus, bro. You could be a warrior. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the god. But despite that, he's still going to get rolled. <laughs> Armada's too good, dude. <laughs> Armada's too good, and I have to say, Kage's not. I I would not say Kage's like one of the top seeds, you know. He definitely wasn't projected to be in the top exactly. sixty-four exactly. winners exactly. round exactly. two. He's very good. I'm not saying Kage's not good. Please do not put this out in the internet and Kage's cut fire. out me saying not. And just have it sound like I was saying Kage sucks. I don't think he sucks. I think he's very good. Okay, but then, but you think he's? Just but he's gonna get, get destroyed. And he's also not a seed that. Yeah, he's not. He probably wasn't projected to be here. Nah, oh my nah. God! He was in the bracket where Moon and Lucky. Are. Oh my! What is going on? What was that forward smash? Did you that see, was, he hit him with the frying pan. That was everything we can't do. Look at Kung is alive. He's got such heart. All you Peach players struggling against Ganon, the book is being written right now. Kage's got such a heart. It's looking super Macy Gray for Keeps Kage. trying. Dude. I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. Why you say Macy Gray? Well, I, I, just, I don't really like her music, to be honest. I'm not a Macy Gray fan. It's just, it's just, it's you could send that clip to Macy Gray just, if you like Twitch chat. Damn. Why you got to do Macy like that? I'm bro? not saying that she's a I like her as a person. No, nah, nah, she's cool. Just not a fan of her. Not saying, everybody's a fan. She's looking bad, man. She's got a very know. distinctive style. 
That's my Macy Gray impersonation. <laughs> Why, she going to see you and fire on you, dude. She's going to be mad. I don't think so. <laughs> you know, oh. all, the, all the hate that commentators get, imagine how much hate Macy Gray gets on Twitter. Oh, my yeah. God. When we play Melee, man, you know, music is different. You think there's no haters in music? No, there's haters in music, but I'm saying though, the artists are way more down to just pull up on the haters if they have to. Wait, really? Yeah, dude. I don't think so. At least in rap. No, well. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, no JV. No. Oh, two stomps? I like that tomahawk. Oh, Does he just take was, a stock just like that? That was actually pretty dope. Just one up air, man. One up air. Oh, I missed. Ooh, he's trying to say, you know what? I'm a one toucher oh, too. Let's go, baby. I'm a one toucher too. My oh, man finally you know found his rhythm. How many times you get touched? One. But Armando's like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I wonder does Armada even know this matchup, or is he just like better playing in him so bad that it just doesn't matter? What do you think? Say it again. I said. I wonder, does he even know this matchup, or is he just better playing him, better playing, playing him super hard? I my belief is that Armada knows every matchup. I believe that. My belief is that he has actually studied every matchup that's like top, you know, top 15 characters. Viable. Probably like Mewtwo. I bet he doesn't know all that much about the matchup, but you've oh, seen his characters, right? Yeah. You saw his game and watch. Oh man. Like, what does he have to Ooh. He doesn't have to study the Game Watch matchup. He is the Game Watch matchup. Kage on the board, though. Draws first blood. Kage's, like, he's adapting, though. Yeah. We'll just give him that. Given. Consider it given. Look at that power shield. Yeah, considering who he's playing. Cool. Oh. Crouch, but crouch cancel. Okay. Back air. Uh, oh, I'm actually super, yeah. super oh impressed because he actually is going off. This hitting, time. hitting Armada is pretty hard. No, yeah. And Kage's hitting him pretty good. Kage's out here flexing. Oh, catches the little uh, lip of a Peach's umbrella. Crowd's coming alive. Yep. Crowd wants to see good melee, and good melee means longer sets, yes. and there's, upsets. And there's a lot of Canadians here, and Kage is like the super underdog. He's a, yeah, he's the ultra underdog. Yeah, he's the ultra underdog. People do underestimate Ganon, though. I think people think Ganon's way worse than he actually is. Mm. A lot of bad characters that are perceived bad are actually aren't that bad. At least to me. The fact that this fool's in winners with Ganon is yeah. like proof of that, right? Yeah. There used to be a lot more Ganons out there. Yeah. Rock Rock. Linguini. Yeah, Rock Rock made top 64 also, I, dude. I can't believe he was here. I actually need to find him and say hi. I'm a dude, big He didn't run. He boy. lost, like, round one pools and, like, just destroyed everybody and losers. He was not as wild. Oh, that nair was sick. Kage still has a percent lead. Uh, oh, look for that grab. Armada, I think, may even have, like, made it look like he could get grabbed in that situation. Just seemed too easy. Ooh. Man, he made an arm out of the roll. That's crazy. Oh, went for the crouch. Yeah, you got to respect Ganon. Yeah. Down B, maybe? No. no that'll do it. Wow, he got weak hit in there. Very uncharacteristic yeah. to see Armada not get the very perfect hitbox, but. Hey, we're all human. Oh. Or maybe it just was the, the optimal thing to do in the situation anyway. Who knows? Ooh, let's go, wow. Kyle. Hey, let's see. Oh man, if he can like somehow not rack up hella damage. Uh oh. Or Armada edge guard. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're back. Oh. Wow, and he even Oh wow. Uh, Kage even got the read, but right? Kage gets like two good hit confirms Armada can die. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. That's one. And Kage's doing the tournament winner to really great effect. Peach has a hard time getting up that high. Yeah, Ganon's tournament winner is actually good. Oh! And Kage on the board. 3-1. He does not get whooped. 3-1. <laughs> he can't get whooped if he gets 3-1. Give up give my man dope, baby. 3-1. Taking a game off from Mana, man, that's a that's a huge step, though. No, that's, like taking, that's like beating someone else's sets. Yes. 
Ganondorf. Crowd chanting Ganondorf. Ganondorf. We're so cool. Yeah. Armada going FD. I like it, the space. He has way more room to work with than the last uh, stage. Yeah. And like uh, a lot of the times you saw earlier, Kage forcing Armada to like roll in. Like you're probably not going to see that because he's just got so much more stage to yeah. work with. And he's amazing with projectiles. Jeez, he's eating up the shield. He was going. Oh, his, oh my Jesus. God! Oh yeah. Oh okay. I kind of think Armada just doesn't want to mess around. He he's treated he treats stitch faces and bombs way way differently. Where like he try well, cause I, he maybe actually because you can re grab it. Oh. Kage looking, dude, I feel like the spacing battle still, like, I mean, it's definitely our mod favorite. It's not going to get it twisted, but, like, I don't know. Kage, it's, like, let's, Kage's got some stuff, man. Yeah. No, he he absolutely does. I've seen lots of players not put up a fight, and Kage's putting up a fight. I think he's handling Armada's floats better. Yeah. Than he was in, like, the beginning. It just looked like uh, at first um, Armada could move around him and weave back and forth behind the shield stuff and like now not so much it's just these oh. I think those things are killing Kage I love love these down B's because he's going under the uh, oh god him under the turnips yeah he's handling Armada's floats and like his drift backs a lot better which Looks is like, like he's trying to power shield like all the turnips since Ganon is so read heavy if you have a read like that if you have a read on someone's drift it's pretty good because for the most part, like they're pretty vulnerable, and you're. It's not really overextending. I feel like if you call out drifts, because worst case they just go on the ground, like right there. Yeah. You know? you know, Armada tries to float at the height where you actually can't hit with like your fastest aerial or whatever. Yeah. So I wonder if he's misspacing his float. Is maybe underestimating Ganon, or maybe Kage's getting out like. Oh my God! Someone's going ham. Yeah, someone's stage. going hamburgers. Yeah, man. man. Kage Maybe Kage's getting like the optimal height up air, but air. Oh, Kage with the oh. drift. Might have not having it though. Wow, we can't dash attack, and he knows to do turn around jab. That's probably the only you know confirm that you can get off that. Again, throws pretty, oh, man. pretty is, poorly actually. He want, he's trying to give my man Kage that low carb diet. It's just like yo. I went to the I went to the um, grocery store earlier, man. That's all fiber. Went to the farmers market, bro. Here's some here's some vegetables I got for you, homie. <laughs> yeah. Having like, really amazing success with that uh, with the Gannon train, though. Yeah. What do you call down B? We sometimes some people call it the bus. Bad mobile off her. Oh. Oh, are you serious, Gannon T back here? Top it player privilege. Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> That was not fair. TPP. That was not fair. I don't <laughs> approve. All right, that should do it. Yeah. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here, Peach. Scram. <laughs> I remember scram so long. So that's a full stock deficit. Oh, and in an edge guard situation. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a, oh, a three-one and a hand. And I think Kagi tried to get a very specific, like, frame up B and just missed it, so it just didn't come out at all. Arbata does his thing as usual. Nothing new for him. The boy, but uh, Kage, man, we see. Kudos I see Kage. you. I see you, Kage. Well, very guys. well played. Super well played. For sure. Um, and, and he's, he's still in the bracket. In. Yeah, he's still in, man. That's winner's bracket. Armada, you know, continuing forward on his path to winners finals. To greatness. <laughs> Armada's gonna be mad if he loses anybody. We were talking about that yesterday. I mean, when you're ranked number one. There's no real higher. But uh, the highest we'll, is his stand. Yeah. We'll see who Kage matches up against in the loser bracket. True. See more of him later. Next up, Liquid Hungry Box versus CLG Fat. Ooh. These two usually have pretty competitive sets, but GTS, uh, GTX uh, Fat kind of got uh, washed. Yeah. For lack of a better word. I forget when uh, when we were talking about the big Fat win over Hungry Box. I think that it was last big house. Yeah, it was last big house. He's sunk in place. And then uh, 